Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's video, I want to talk about a piece of software I discovered while looking through the development logs of the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now basically, what the software does, it's a photo scan software that converts photographs that you take into 3D models. Now, at the current moment, it's not free, but there is a trial edition available for the software, so you can try it out yourself. And while the standard edition is fairly cheap compared to other alternate software or just in general for what it does. So here we go. The software is called Photoscan by AGSoft. So you'll see that I only have 16 days left on my trial, but I will definitely purchase this piece of software. So essentially what you do is when you open the software, you have this screen available. Then you can just add photographs to it. Now, I already took a whole bunch of photographs. All these were taken using my iPhone 5. And it was a rock that I just gradually moved around. I did enable HDR, but I didn't like the HDR photo, so I selected photographs that I wanted to take. So you see it goes all the way around. I took from the side, the lower sides, and then the top side, and then I stepped back a little bit and I took photographs from a distance. So we're going to add all of these in and click open and then we're going to click here on workflow and click align photos. We're going to leave the accuracy to medium and just click OK. And you'll see it is busy doing its time lapse thing so I'm just going to skip through this. Okay that's done. It took roughly about two minutes to align the photographs and then you'll see image similar to this. Uh, there we go. Now normally in the process what you would do is you would build a dense cloud to get more detail from it and then build a mesh. Now the reason why I'm not doing that is because I took these photos of my iPhone for some reason if I build a dense cloud it cuts off some pieces of the model which I don't want. So I'm just going to click straight to build mesh. I'm going to leave a surface type and the face count I'm going to leave as is and I'm just going to click OK and let it build its mesh. And you'll see how quickly that was. If we were to build a dense cloud, it depends on really um, what quality you're going for. But I found it can take as long as six hours to do. And that is really dependent on what type of detail you want to get on your model. For this, I'm not really too concerned. So then the next step, we're going to build texture. We're going to leave it a high detail texture. I'm going to click OK. And let that build out. Okay, so that's built out, and as you can see, yeah, that looks pretty good. There are some folds here. Now, this is the side that if I build a dense cloud, it does not want to register it. So that is why you can see it's got a little bit of stretching and things like that. But we can fix that up easily in our 3D program. So you see that is pretty detailed. We're going to go export model. I'm just going to leave this on my desktop. And I'm just going to call this um, Rock Photo Scan. And it exports to OBJ. Let that export. But there are other options which you can just click here and you'll see there are other options for it. But OBJ is for me the easiest to get it into Blender. So let's open up Blender going to click import obj and just go to my desktop and double click on that one also note if you build a dense point cloud it takes almost uh, this file size i've had as large as almost 200 meg for a simple model so um, be careful with that and the reason why the model appears so small is because of my settings here on the scale because my blender is preset up for Unreal Engine 4. So all that I want to do is hit S and scale that 100 times. Let's just enable the screen cross keys. And then I'm just going to go into orthographic view and I'm just going to rotate this out. One quick thing that I want to do, the model is not centered on its pivot, so I just want to click it and set the origin to the geometry. 
and then I'm just gonna go into the views until I get this model roughly the way I want it okay so we can switch over to material mode hit shift a and we'll just add a hemi light and you'll see that there is the photo model that we did I'm just going to enable smooth shading and there we are so this model is essentially a bit too high quality for a simple rock model i mean um, the triangles 34,000. It's a bit high so what we're going to do in the next video is we are going to delete some of the unwanted sides we're going to use retopology to recreate this rock in, in a low polygon form and we're going to uv unwrap it make a texture and a normal map and then import this into unreal engine 4 as a game model so if you like what you saw leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike please subscribe to my channel and i will see all of you in the next video thank you very much for watching bye bye